Hello dear friends, welcome to the Economics Learners Lab. Myself, I am Venkatesh Kongala. I am the Founder and Managing Director of Economics Learners Lab. We have newly introduced a program called 90 Important Topics for Internet Economics, June 2020. Actually, what are we doing in this program? Here comes the answer. 1. Every day we are releasing a one video on particular topic in Economics Learners Lab YouTube channel. The video will be more emphasized on NTA Net syllabus. 2. After detailed explanation or demonstration of the topic, we will provide a few multiple choice questions. 3. If the video length is exceeds more than 15 minutes, we will divide the video into parts. If you are really a serious aspirant of NTA Net Economics, I can bet you that this program will help you a lot. Let's begin the today's topic. Topic number 86, Phillips curve. This is a very important topic for the NTNet economics exam. From this topic, you can expect one question. If you see the old question papers also, you can find one question from this topic in every year. So let us see Phillips curve discussion. We are going to learn in this video, what is a Phillips curve, understand short run and long run understand Phillips curve in short run and long run. After that, we will solve some multiple choice questions. Let us see what is a Phillips curve. The Phillips curve is developed by A.W. Phillips 1958. Shows the relationship between rate of changes in unemployment rate and inflation rate. It means Phillips curve shows a relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate. For constructing this Phillips curve, A.W. Phillips used UK data for the time period 1861 to the 1957. When he analyzed the UK data, he found inverse relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate. So the A.W. Phillips used the Phillips curve to explain the relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate. Let us go to the next slide. You know the formula for calculating the inflation rate and unemployment rate, but for time being just recall it. The formula for inflation rate is PI that is price index this year minus price index of last year divided by price index of last year into 100. For unemployment rate formula is unemployed people divided by labor force into 100. So the Phillips curve shows a negative relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate. Here in this picture you can see that if one goes up the another one comes down. So let us go to the next slide. In this slide what we will do is that we will show the Phillips curve in graphical way. In horizontal axis we have taken unemployment rate and vertical axis we have taken inflation rate. Here the Phillips curve showing two points. In this point, the inflation rate is 5% and unemployment rate is 4%. In this point, the inflation rate is 3% and unemployment rate is 5%. Here the Phillips curve is showing a inverse relationship between the inflation rate and unemployment rate. In this situation, the policy makers want to increase the inflation, they can increase. If they want to reduce unemployment, they can reduce it. So the policy makers can choose 4% of the unemployment rate with the 5% of the inflation that is this point or 5% of the unemployment rate with a 3% of the inflation that is this point. Phillips curve is showing inverse relationship in this diagram. Let us go to the next slide. Do you know short run and long run? Hope some of them are knowing it, some of them are not knowing it. As per the microeconomics, short run means at least one factor can be changed in a time. In long run, we cannot change any of the factors. Do you know the short run time period and long run time period? That means the exact short run time is this much and the exact long run time is this much. Till now, no one is classified short run and long run exact time. Commonly, we will take one month time to two years as a short run. Long run higher than five years. Very long run, it will be decades or around 50 years will say very long run. The Phillips curve critics says trade off seems to exist in the western countries in 1960s. Yes, you are right, Mr. A.W. Phillips. But in 1970s witnessed a situation called a stagflation. 
where high level of unemployment with high level of inflation so according to the 1970s data the phillips curve is not showing exact relationship so the downward sloping phillips curve is relevant only in the short run and in the long run there is no trade off and phillips curve is vertical that is in the long run inflation rate and unemployment rate are unrelated so the critics of the phillips curve saying there is a trade off between the inflation rate and unemployment rate in only in the short run but in the case of long run there is no trade off between the inflation rate and unemployment rate so the how the vertical phillips curve looks like this is how the long run phillips curve looks like in inflation rate i1 there is unemployment rate is un when inflation rate is increased from i1 to i2 the unemployment rate is same so according to the critics of the phillips curve saying long run phillips curve is vertical so this is vertical phillips curve and the critics of the phillips curve are saying you are right mr aw phillips for example in this situation at this point in the short run there will be some internal or external factors will impact economy that's why the inflation rate will be lower and unemployment rate is lower but after a certain time period it will automatically come to the actual level of unemployment rate so now we can conclude there is a trade off between the inflation rate unemployment rate in short run but in long run there is no trade off between the inflation rate and unemployment rate hope you have understood what is phillips curve and difference between the short run and long run and vertical phillips curve and long run phillips curve let us solve some multiple choice questions question number 1 what i will do is that i will give you just 30 seconds time try to solve yourself after that i will do the explanation for this question your time starts now only 30 seconds time up stop doing it let us see read statements statement a demand full inflation impact on phillips curve in short run statement b cost full inflation impact on phillips curve in short run yes the both statements are right demand full inflation on cost full inflation will impact phillips curve in short run according to the phillips curve analysis let us go to the next question 30 seconds for this question try to solve yourself after that i will do the explanation your time starts now hope this much time is fine for you stop doing it the aw philips is developed a philips curve so the right answer for this question is choice number 3 is the right answer for this question let us go to the next question question number 3 30 seconds for this question try to solve yourself after that i will do the explanation your time starts now stop doing it time up let us see according to the phillips curve analysis in short run increase inflation rate will dash employment rate choice number 1 reduces choice number 2 increases choice number 3 reduces and increases choice number 4 no changes so if you see here in this question this is not unemployment rate this is employment rate so the right answer for this question is choice number 2 let us go to the next question 30 seconds for this question try to solve yourself after that i will give you the explanation your time starts now
time of stop doing it let us see the philips curve shows the relationship between the rate of changes in unemployment rate and inflation rate yes this statement is right statement b in short run there won't be no trade off between the inflation and unemployment in the long run there won't be any trade off between the inflation rate and unemployment rate so this statement is wrong so the right answer for this question is choice number 2 that is statement b is wrong but statement a is right let us go to the last question in this video 30 seconds for this question try to solve yourself after that i will do the explanation your time starts now hope this much time is fine for you let us solve an increase in the injection into the economy may leads to choice number 1 an outward shift of aggregate demand and demand full inflation choice number 2 an outward shift of aggregate demand and cost full inflation choice number 3 an outward shift of aggregate supply and demand full inflation choice number 4 an outward shift of aggregate supply and cost full inflation so when increases the expenditure or injections increase the aggregate demand that will be demand full inflation so the right answer for this question is choice number 1 thank you for watching this video see you in another video don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you very much